in Market Harbour run a successful subcontract machine shop. Now they went from having fixed head of machines up to having a siding head machine six months ago. And Ethan, you've been at the heart of not only decision making here, but also being able to program the machine. And I want to understand what learning curve you've gone through with STAR. So firstly, you can program all the machines. How easy was it to learn about so this one? It's a lot easier. So it's all done on the computer. They give you a software, so it makes it nice and easy. Load the CAD, all sorted. So in terms of training, what is it that STAR did? Did, did they come here? Or so it... they come here, you've still got some training left. Got, we had three days here. So first day they learned, showed the bar feed, the chalk, how to change tools, set tools, uh, the collets, and just get a base around the machine, really. Yeah, and get your head around it. Was that yeah. easy? It was really easy. Uh, the tools are nice, easy to set. A uh, lot different than the fixed heads. You just touch on with the tool and that's set. Oh, OK. So so it's a lot easy and it saves a lot of time, really. And then day two, what were you on to then? So day kind two. Kind of up a level, yeah. maybe. So day two is up a level. So we're learning the program, how to change load programs, set them. And then we um, learn the sub spindle, how, how that works where the, um, the length works when it parts it off. Just basic really, and then run the machine, set the, set the machine up. And then day three, what did that continue? Day three was the program side of it. So we went onto the computer, he loaded the software and just basically just showed us how the program programming works and how to notice the problems. And were you confident to be able to program and use the machine? Yeah, it was fairly easy. They were nice, they were simple, they were nice and took their time with us when we, we struggled to do stuff, but it, it was pretty easy to do. I love the fact that you have got the business card on the machine of one of the guys from SCAR. Why is that? Um, basically, he, he, did, he said to us, if you have any problems, I'm always available, just give me a call. So he gave us his mobile business card and he said, if you have any problems, give us a call. I'm only local, I'll be able to pop in if, I have any, if you have any problems. And have you had to lean on them? Um, yeah, right, basically, we had an alarm come up, couldn't work out what it was. Um, so we phoned, phoned the office, sent them there. They said, send us the programme, we'll have a look. And within an hour, they told us what the problem was. Oh, brilliant. So. And, and in terms of the model that you've gone for, why have you gone for it? And, and what, have, what specification have you gone for? So we've gone for all the extras, basically, because um, as a subcontractor, you don't really know what's going to come through the door. So we've gone for the extras, So, but we've still got a few more trainings left. So I'm looking, looking forward to seeing what's to do, really. Yeah. yeah, extras. And has it been a success so far for you? It has, yes. It's saved plenty of time. Um, don't really need to keep an eye on it. It can just let, let it run and come down and check it when you've got some time. And you run uh, the office as well, don't you? I an do. office manager. Yeah, so I... But how, how do you use the star in terms of that side as a big? So, um, got the spindle. So we did sometimes to do some long parts. It helps us um, save time and get can be competitive on the price, really. Oh, really? So you've noticed a big shift there big as shift well? as well, yeah. So is there anything in this business that you don't do, Ethan? Um, that's a tricky one. <laughs> exactly. There's a lot that, in fact, David yeah. says you're his right hand man. I am, so I do try and help him the best I can. So um, I do all the booking in, the machine side of it, and just um, try my best, really, and I help everyone out. Yeah, strong team here. It so is. The overall, would you say that this has been a successful investment in life? Yeah, so it's, um, it's helped us cost effective, improve on high volume parts, and it's been a massive impact on the business to get to quote complex parts, so hopefully it will have an impact in the business going forward.